All right, I wanted to show this new stack because it's just so awesome that I have to show it. Uh, I haven't done a stack review for a while, but this is a new one that I'm pretty impressed with. Uh, I've actually been impressed with a lot of the Flywoo stuff lately. So this is a Flywoo stack. Um, I have this quad I'm working on here with these Flywoo motors. I've been using other Flywoo motors like their 1404s I had on a CB3 a while back and they were just amazing motors. Really, really nice. Uh, I had gotten them on accident because I had needed some 1404s with a 9x9 pattern and those ended up having a 12x12 so I stuck them on a CB3 and they were just awesome. But These ones are actually uh, their 2207s. These are 1700 kV. This is going to be a... Uh, I think a 5S or a 6S, 5 inch. This is a 5 inch twig. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this frame right now though, but this is a 5 inch twig that's modular, has the uh, replaceable arms and everything. You can even replace this front brace. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about Flywoo because they're they're just they're making some really cool stuff lately, and I'm pretty impressed with them so far. I've been using their their LEDs for a while now. Those little 4x10, 4x20s, and the 9x15s. Uh, actually, that's what's on here, but these are the, the race wire ones. 9x15. Um, and what else? What else have I been using? Others? They just came out with a, a whoop style flight controller stack. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, though, but it looks really cool. It has LEDs on it and stuff. But this is the Flywoo uh, F722 Mini stack so you got the flight controller you got the 4-in-1 man that is a pretty 4-in-1 too look at how shiny that is that I don't know if that's a, a heat sink or not it feels like it's metal I'm pretty sure it is pretty nice though this is a 20 by 20 stack and I'm gonna go through the specs real quick because there's just so many it's crazy it's insane I've never seen a 20 by 20 stack like this one at all. So first of all, and I don't understand why companies do this either. I've seen this on other stacks too where the 4-in-1 can take a certain voltage and the, the flight controller takes a totally different voltage even though in the middle they they line up. But like the, let's see, which one was which? Um, the flight controller... The flight controller can take 3S up to 8S. That's pretty crazy. So I'm wondering if they just did that because, I mean, this is a stack that's sold together, you know, the flight controller and the foreign one, but you can buy this separate. So maybe it's just because, you know, they sell this separate and you can put it with whatever foreign one you want uh, and use between 3 and 8S. Let me double check, actually, because I want to make sure I'm giving you the right info. I want to make sure it's the uh, flight controller and not the foreign one. Okay, yeah, that's right. So the flight controller is 3 to 8S. The foreign one is 2 to 6S. So kind of crazy. Uh, more features. So the gyro is a MPU 6000, but they have two different ones, and you can choose between the MPU 6000 or they have a... Uh, uh, ICM 2689 20689 gyro and that's one of those ultra sensitive ones but if you get that flight controller it's it comes with the gyro on a foam pad with the little strip you know and like a cover over it and stuff uh, I, I wouldn't recommend getting that one but I can't say 100% but I'm just speaking from past experiences with ultra sensitive gyros I just it just sucks so so bad when you run into issues where like the quad shake in or whatever you know any kind of little problem that keeps you from flying because all you want to do is go fly you know so anyway let me say that again 3 to 8s on the flight controller 2 to 6s on the foreign one the foreign one is a 40 amp it's BL Heli 32 with a burst of 50 amp 
and the flight controller has two BECs. One is a five volt and one is a nine volt. Both of them are two amp. Uh, this actually has a barometer on board and it also has 16 megabytes flash memory for your black box um, It can do 32 kilohertz It supports uh, dual the dual camera switch It has six functional UARTs so it has uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I haven't even seen them all. Let's try to, oh yeah, there's a ton of pads right here. The writing is too small to, there's no way to read what it says on there. Let me see if I can get my magnifier on it. Um, nope, still can't read it. It's upside down, too. I can read some of them. RSSI, ground, 5 volt. There's some RXs and TXs. 1, 2, 3, like 3 or 4 of them right here. And then you can read these pretty clear. Ground, 5 volt, C1, C2. Oh, that's your two cameras. You are at five video out, so that's probably your smart audio video out, nine volt and ground. So here's for your VTX over here. This would be the back, that would be the front, okay. Uh, and then you got your plug, three, six, it's an eight pin. You got uh, power ground, your four motors, and then current and telemetry. So that's already just more features than I've ever seen on any other 20 by 20 stack. I mean, barometer, six UARTs, a five volt and a nine volt. Uh, you got your current and tele telemetry, BL Heli 32, up to 8S on the flight controller, 6S on the 4-in-1, 40 amp, burst to 50 amp. Uh, it also has six motor outputs on the flight controller. And the 4-in-1 does not have a BEC, but that's all right. The 4-in-1 is 7 grams, and the flight controller is 5 grams. I'll show you right here. So here's the, uh, the other one with the sensitive gyro. It's got like a plastic case over the top of it and everything. It's actually a dual gyro, so it has an MPU 6000, and then the uh, ICM one is black box. So it's a dual gyro. Pretty nice. I mean, it's just... Uh, it'll do M3 for the mounting holes, and then it has these little rubber grommets to, to let you do M2. And, and it comes with... M2 screws and M3 screws, long steel ones, and then it comes with M3 nuts, M2 nuts, and then these rubber pieces. So all the hardware you would need. And it's just really nice looking too, it's, it's beautiful. Most of the stuff is on the bottom, so the top looks nice and clean. See the barometer right there. Yep. Looks like uh, LC filters as well. These pads. I'm not sure. I can't read it. It's just. Why do they have to write it so small? They wrote it bigger right here and you can read it. Really nice though, so I just wanted to show this. Flywoo, I mean, I don't know anything about them. I've, I haven't used a lot of their products, but from what I'm seeing, it just looks really good. Looks quality. Their motors, I mean, their motors are really nice, high quality, very nice. I mean, that's a beautiful motor right there.
nice and smooth feels like it has really nice bearings nice wires so they're making some really nice stuff and the other thing too is the price I mean it's like 80 bucks for this stack and that's what you are gonna be paying for a good stack I'm used to and I know a lot of other people are used to you know certain ones like the Mamba MK2 Mini it's $37 for the entire stack and I've used plenty of them I still use them today you know but you're not going to get all those features like this as you know so you're going to be paying 80 bucks for a good stack and that's just what the price is so that's what this one costs and uh, I would say it's definitely worth it I'm not sure who in the states has it I'm pretty sure race day quads has the flight controller I'm not sure about the foreign one but uh if they don't I'm sure they'll have it soon. They're they're stocking like almost all the Flywoo stuff, so. There it is. On this frame I have to uh turn it to the back so that when you got the canopy on you can still access the uh USB there. It's perfect. Look at that. You got the boot button and the USB right there. Amazing. Alright, that's all I got.